That's the sound I think of <laughs> when I see a Hoover the One. If you want to see that uh, commercial, it's on my channel. Now, Hoover the One was supposed to be a Dyson killer, and the first Hoover the One, which was, uh, you also see that featured on my channel, I sold that. That machine was pretty appalling, and it got a witch don't buy. I bought it, and it was pretty bad. Not as bad as Witch said, but they introduced the second generation of the Ones, which included this top of the range model, the One Pet. I did have one of these from brand new, I paid full price for it, and within only a few days, the brush roll motor failed on it. So, instead of sending it back, I actually had a Hoover engineer come out to my house to try and fix it. They didn't have the part. The part would have taken at least two weeks to arrive. Um, it was the module for the, um, the PCB module, apparently, for the brush roll motor had gone. So I said, no, forget it, I'll send it back. So I did. Also, I've got Hoover the One Performer on my channel, but I didn't get that brand new. And that does perform pretty well. Anyway, this was on eBay, and it came all the way from Germany. But in fact, it's supposed to have a British plug on it. So if you want one of these, if they've still got any, check out eBay. Just type in Hoover the One Pet into eBay UK. All that's supposed to be wrong with these is the box damaged. And upon opening, it does look like it should look. In fact, if this one's okay, I might end up buying another one. This cost me, because a lot of people say, how much was it? This cost me $89.99. Now be careful, because the same seller is listing this machine in two separate listings, one in English and one in German. And for some reason, you'll pay more for the German one and you'll pay postage. This was listed as $89.99 with free post and it arrived within, within a few days. So I'm pretty pleased so far. Yes, I mean, that's even stuck down. So, I don't think this is graded. I, d I just think this is how it should be. I'm hoping it will have a UK plug on. It did say it had a UK plug. So, um, if it doesn't, obviously, that's no problem. Because German Germany use the same voltage as we do in the UK. So there's the user guide. As I said, these certainly were a massive improvement on the very first generation, the one. Um, because they have the separate brush roll motor, they also have a stiffer brush roll. But the reviews, when people bought them, and it's still, if you look on Amazon, you'll still see this and a few reviews. It's not available to buy, but I think everyone gave it one star. And most people complained that it used to cut out after only a few minutes cleaning. It would uh, overheat and cut out. Never mind, but I just wanted one, obviously. I don't want to use this. I will use it as a demo, but it's not a machine I'm going to uh, have as my regular vacuum, obviously. Okay, first thing out is the pet hair remover in a sort of a nice smoky grey translucent or transparent plastic. It's got an odd shaped end look because it fits onto the uh, crevice tool that's built into the handle. You also get a dusting brush and in this case, although it's quite small, it is nice and soft. Nice bit of Hoover branding there and it actually attaches, fits onto the cleaner. This bit I think that's the bit that uh, you put the uh, turbo brush on, that just clips into the machine so it, so it holds the turbo brush in place. Yeah. Let's take that off. Well, it's packed very well. We've got, just, just take a note of this, well, Joe, in case you, well, I will be putting it back in its box, obviously, after it's uh, had its little moment of fame. But I'm glad to have found it. It's not, it's not a collectible item, although it might end up being collectible. 
But it's nice to get an older machine that's not being bashed about. It's 1800 watt motor, according to the printing on the top of the bin. I was going to say cyclone. I don't think there's much cyclonic in this particular. This weighs a ton as well. Just, just this bit is heavy. On my one performer, this part broke off, this handle, so I had to buy another one. I've managed to get one. So here, you can see where it's full because it has a see-through bit. This was supposed to be a feature, <laughs> a benefit, the way it emptied the bin with this silly thing here. You pressed it once. It's going to be stiff because it's new. Hang on. Oh. All right. There we go. You pressed it once. It was supposed to be a, a tube thing. Um, you pressed it. It initially was supposed to have let out the fine dust and then the other debris. But there. Doesn't open very far. It is. It is obviously brand new and unused. That's that's awkward. And then you've got your pleated filter here. There's a sponge filter as well, you need to keep those clean. There's another filter. A mesh filter. There we go. So far so good. Hopefully at the end of this video, I will order another one I think. Just to keep one, to keep one nice, you know, completely unused. I won't be showing you the unboxing of a, if I do get another one. There we go, that's that. Oh dear me. Hang on. The hose is actually attached, I think, to this one. Yes. Ah, oh, good, good, good. I have just spotted the UK plug. Just wonder why. It's odd, isn't it? Why is a German company selling on eBay? This company sells a lot of stuff. I think they're called Discount King, but the King is spelt differently. Could be the German spelling of King. Just, it's odd that they would have, I know they had, I think they did have this model in Germany. Upright vacuum cleaners are a bit thin on the ground in Europe and Germany. They do, they did offer upright cleaners, but canister or cylinder cleaners are far more popular. So I'm not surprised they've got lots, but why they've got some of the UK ones, Yeah, well, I'm pretty happy that it is as described. I'll leave that. Well, I might take that off, actually. I'll leave it on for now, the swing ticket, until I get another one. If I do get, I think I will be ordering another one, to be honest. Um, so I'll leave this on. But if I do get another one that I'm not going to use, then I'll take this off before I make the demo. But yeah, this um, has an improved filter. Apparently, on the first series of the one, the, the white and uh, red colour, that used to pop out randomly. I think they changed it. They had to do an awful lot. <laughs> there was a lot of teething problems with the first one. So that goes on there. Oh, that's going to be... hang on. This reminds me, there's a, there's a cleaner I would have loved to have owned that uh, you'll, you'll be aware of if you live in the United States, called the Hoover Z. We'd call it the Hoover Z. And this is probably our version of the Hoover Z. I would have loved to have a Hoover Z. It looked like, uh, probably not a practical cleaner. There we go. Um, but it looked good. We were going to get it, actually, under the Maytag brand, and then I think the ownership of Maytag changed and then they stopped producing floor care. This has got, uh, oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit distorted that, um, it's a bit of a shame. Can you see that? I'm not bothered as long as I can, I think you can still buy these infinity hoses they call them. Um, it might go back eventually. I'm not, I'm not bothered. Hopefully when I order another one, oh that's already going back a bit. Hopefully when I get another one the hose will be okay. 
I think that will eventually go back to how it should. So this is the Infinity Hose, so it's uh, longer than uh, my the one performer. This definitely reaches up the stairs and then some. It is a very, very long hose. It's very heavy too. Here's your handle with the built-in crevice tool. Ah, zoom! Oh yes, this has got uh, the zoom part too, look. Ooh! Zoom! So that comes out. It didn't on some models, I think. I'm not sure if I've got that on the performer version. As I said, this is the very top of the range of the Hoover the Ones. But there we go. So at least it's an aluminium tube there. But the hose, it's a little bit, uh, because it's so long, it stores on here. It's not as neat to store. Now, how do I put it on? I've forgotten. It's that long since I've had one. So uh, I'll pop the tube in. I'm not sure if I should do that first. This actually diverts the suction. When the tube is in, there's a suction diverter in there. So now it's diverted to the cleaning head. When you press the one-touch hose release button, then it diverts the suction. There's some sort of valve inside, much like uh, Dyson's have. Do you know, folks, I'm not really sure how uh, this goes on. I will pause and wrap it up. Well, that wasn't so difficult. I just had to refer to the instruction book. So it just fits into there, the infinity hose. At the bottom, if we can let's move the machine a bit forward, we've got very unusual for an upright and very, very unusual for a Hoover upright. I can't recall any other. Any of you can tell me, I'm talking about UK available Hoover uprights. Do you know of any other Hoover upright that had auto cord Oh, of course it did. What am I saying? I've got some. Of course, it was the Turbo Power Autoflex and the Turbo Masters with the Autoflex. So, yes, it wasn't totally unheard of, but pretty uh, unusual for any upright vacuum, even nowadays, to have automatic cord rewind. But on a, on a cylinder vacuum, it's pretty standard feature, even on budget ones, isn't it? So, you've got the cord button here, cord rewind button. The cord comes out of the bottom. A lot of people complained about that in reviews, but of course they didn't bother to hook the cord over. At the top here, there's a little clip which you pull the cord up to, press it down, and then it's, it comes out there so it keeps it out of the way. Oh, I'm really pleased with this. Can't believe, you know, perseverance, keep checking eBay, and things turn up that you never expect to. That's where the dusting tool lives, I believe. Just down there. It was never easy. Oh dear. And that's not going to be an exception. There we are. It'll loosen up. I was going to say, it'll loosen up with use. Not that you're going to get much use. You will get some use. But not much. Because you're not very good. Bless your heart. And that... Can you see what I'm doing? That goes in there. There we are. And then that goes on there, adding to the weight and bulk of this vacuum. Okay, we'll have a look at the cleaning head. We'll have a look underneath. We'll turn it on. And then that will be the end. I'm really, really chuffed to get one of these. So here's the cleaning head, the One Pet. Nice bit of Hoover branding in the middle there and written. Says, it says edge cleaning either side. I think that's a bit of a lie. We'll have a look underneath, see how close it will get. Adaptive power brush. So you've got this push button on the original, the one. That was a mechanical thing that actually, when you pressed it down for hard floor, a little brush came out. It just made it even worse for cleaning hard floors. With this one, it switches the brush roll off because, as I said, it's a two-motored two machine. Hopefully that won't be faulty. It's got a little protective... Do break. I'll take that off and I'll put that somewhere safe though inside the instruction book. So you press that down with your foot and it lights up when it's on carpet and it lights up if you've got it on hard floor. So here's the underside. It is a hundred percent better this brush roll than the original the one. The brushes on the original the one they were red and there was as soft, I'm not joking, they were about as soft as dusting brush brushes. These are much more rigid and the whole design of the brush roll is greatly improved. So that is 
much, much better. Here's Hoover's so-called edge cleaning. Not too bad that side. That side though, where I assume the, I think it's got a toothed belt. It's not really a usable, you can replace it if you need to, but it's not, I don't think it's that easy to do. So that's where that would be. You've got two tiny wheels right at the front, two there, and of course, wheels here. I think we, the wheels have been improved as well, the back wheels. I think they failed on the first version. There was an awful lot wrong with that machine. What were Hoover thinking? You know, they had the free flights fiasco and then they brought out the one. <sighs> Dear me. That comes off. So you've got access to this bit. This'll, this comes off. This comes off if you get a blockage. I won't show you all now. I've probably shown it in a previous The One video. It's got, we'll have a look at the rating thing, and because the rating thing is completely intact, it says to me it's fine, it's not graded or anything. So here we are, H1 Pept. I don't know how you date these candy machines. 39100081, I think. 0538 Obviously made in PRC, isn't it? 1500 to 1600 watt, 1700 to 1800 watt. That's Pmax. It's a type WU02. Oh dear, she looks so undignified like that, doesn't she? Well, you would if you were in that position. I wouldn't recommend it. Right, let's move this. I can only describe it as a behemoth. Oh, it's a heavy vacuum. That is heavy, really heavy. So I can understand why it wasn't popular, and it's why pick one up if you've got 90 pounds. They've got some left. They had they had more than 10 available at the time of making this video, but word spreads around the vacuum collecting community. By the time you see this, they might have already gone. Right, let me just uh, switch off at the socket. It might turn on. No, it hasn't. Is that good or bad? Hopefully, that's good. Right, I'm going to turn it on in the upright position first, just to check the suction motor. Fingers crossed. That sounds fine. You can hear a bit of air hissing. Whoops, wrong button. Could be hissing around the um, thing. That sounds and smells like it should. Right, let's give it a quick push. Just put your foot down there. Recline. Now it might be in carpet, might be in hard floor mode. It's in hard floor, so I'm going to have to uh, touch the bar with my foot and it should hopefully activate, fingers crossed, activate the brush roll. how it should be. I mean, there's plenty wrong with it, but <laughs> it's, um, it's almost as hard to push as my Kirby when tech drive is switched off. Not quite as bad as that, but almost. Right, oops, let's unplug. It's got that nice motor smell though, that new motor smell. Quite a long cable really. Right, we'll uh, check the rewind. Oops, go on. Yep, nothing wrong with that. So there you go, folks. I'm absolutely chuffed to have this monstrosity in my collection. Yes, it's not a vacuum I'd recommend. This is only for you vac enthusiasts who want to have a machine that will probably be very rare in time to come, not popular. You won't see lots of these on eBay, like you see the Hoover Juniors and Turbo Powers. So, if they're still available, grab one while you can. Thanks for watching. Thumb up. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section below. Subscribe, click the bell icon, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill, hopefully, by now. See you all very soon.